Ever wondered about the invisible threat that's disrupting our planet's balance? Yes, we're talking about carbon dioxide, or CO2. In the grand tapestry of our planet's atmospheric composition, carbon dioxide, or CO2, plays a vital role. It's a greenhouse gas that helps keep our planet warm enough to sustain life. But in recent decades, human activities have significantly increased the levels of CO2, causing a dangerous imbalance. With every breath of exhaust from cars and trucks, every puff of smoke from factories and power plants, we're releasing more and more CO2 into the atmosphere. This invisible gas is now so abundant that it's altering our climate, causing temperatures to rise, ice caps to melt and sea levels to surge. Global warming is not just a buzzword, it's a reality we're all living in. It's a ticking time bomb that threatens our environment, our livelihoods and our future generations, and the primary culprit CO2 emissions. But the story doesn't end there. The world is waking up to this invisible threat. Scientists, engineers, policymakers are all grappling with the challenge and seeking innovative solutions. And among the many strategies being explored, one stands out for its potential to not only mitigate, but also reverse the damage. We're talking about the geological storage of CO2. Imagine if we could capture the CO2 we produce before it ever reaches the atmosphere. Imagine if we could store it securely deep within the Earth's crust, in rock layers where it can't contribute to global warming. And imagine if we could do this on a scale large enough to make a real difference. That's the promise of geological CO2 storage. It's a bold, ambitious vision, but it's one that's grounded in science and backed by promising early results. It's a vision that could transform the way we think about CO2, turning this invisible threat into a hidden asset. But what if we could turn this invisible threat into a hidden asset? Welcome to the world of geological CO2 storage. The journey of CO2 from being a villain to a hidden asset starts with its capture. Now let's delve into the fascinating process of carbon capture, a technological marvel that's steering us towards a greener tomorrow. Carbon capture, in essence, is the process of trapping carbon dioxide at its emission source, preventing it from entering the atmosphere. Imagine a factory churning out products and alongside there's an invisible villain CO2 ready to escape and add to our climate woes. But here comes the hero of our story, carbon capture technology. Picture this, within the factory we have sophisticated systems in place. When the factory's emissions are released, they pass through these systems. Acting like a sieve, these systems allow everything but CO2 to pass through. The CO2 is then isolated, ready for its impending journey. But how do these systems distinguish CO2 from other gases? Well, that's where the magic of science comes in. These systems use a variety of methods to capture CO2. Some use solvents or chemicals that bind with CO2, others use membranes that only CO2 can pass through. There's also a method known as oxy-fuel combustion, where a mix of oxygen and fuel is burned to produce CO2 and water vapor, which are then easily separated. Now you might be wondering, is all this effort worth it? Absolutely. By capturing CO2 before it escapes into the atmosphere, we're not just curbing our carbon emissions, we're also creating an opportunity to put this CO2 to use use and that's where the next part of our journey begins once captured the co2 is compressed into a liquid like state ready to be transported it's like packing your suitcase before a trip making sure everything is secure and compact ready for the journey ahead and that's it that's carbon capture in a nutshell a process that's transforming industries helping us combat climate change and giving us a shot at a better future once captured the co2 is ready for its next journey deep beneath the Earth's surface. The captured CO2 embarks on a journey not into the sky, but deep into the Earth's crust. From the moment the carbon dioxide is captured, it starts its remarkable journey. The next destination? Miles beneath our feet, where it will be securely stored in the geological formations that cradle our planet. The transportation process is as critical as the capture itself. The CO2, now in a dense, nearly liquid state, is safely piped through a network that extends across landscapes, under cities and through the heart of our human world. These arteries of change carry the CO2 from the capture site to its final resting place. Imagine a river flowing underground, invisible to the eye but vital in its purpose. That that's what these pipelines represent. They are the lifelines that connect the world of CO2 capture to the world of CO2 storage ensuring a seamless transition from one to the other. 
but this isn't a journey taken lightly. The pipelines are engineered with precision and care, designed to withstand the pressures and challenges of this unique task. Every inch of the journey is monitored, every valve and seal checked, every potential risk mitigated. This is a voyage that leaves no room for error. Why such painstaking care? Because, like a diligent sentry, we must ensure that the CO2 doesn't escape back into the atmosphere. Each molecule of carbon dioxide we capture and store is a victory in our fight against climate change, a step towards a greener, healthier future. Every bit of CO2 that leaks out is a step back, and that's a step we can't afford to take. As the CO2 travels, it leaves the world of human habitation behind, diving deep beneath the Earth's surface. Here, amidst layers of rock and sediment, the CO2 finds its final destination. It's a world far removed from the one we know. A world that holds the key to our sustainable future. Upon reaching the storage site, the real magic begins. This is where our captured CO2 will be securely stored, locked away from the atmosphere and the effects of climate change. It's a journey of hope, a journey of change, a journey that takes us not upwards but downwards, deep into the heart of the Earth. Beneath our feet lies a vast network of suitable rock layers that serve as natural storage units for CO2. This is where the journey of captured carbon dioxide ends, deep within the Earth's crust. But how does it get there, you may ask? Well, let's delve into the science. Once the CO2 is captured and transported, it's time for the injection process to take place. This is not just a simple case of pumping the CO2 into the ground. Oh no, there's a lot more to it than that. Firstly, the CO2 is compressed to a supercritical state. This means it has the density of a liquid, but flows like a gas, making it easier to inject into the Earth. This compressed CO2 is then pumped deep underground, typically one to two kilometers beneath the surface, into geological formations that are specifically chosen for their ability to securely store the CO2 for thousands of years. These formations include saline aquifers, depleted oil and gas fields and coal beds. Each of these has its own unique properties that make it suitable for CO2 storage. Saline aquifers, for example, are porous rock formations filled with brine. The CO2 is injected into these formations, where it dissolves into the brine, effectively trapping it. Depleted oil and gas fields, on the other hand, have already proven their ability to hold hydrocarbons for millions of years. Thus, they are an ideal choice for CO2 storage. The CO2 is injected into these fields, where it fills the poor spaces previously occupied by oil or gas. Coal beds offer another option for CO2 storage. The CO2 is injected into the coal bed where it adheres to the coal surfaces, displacing methane in the process. This can actually result in the production of additional natural gas, a process known as enhanced coal bed methane recovery. Now safely tucked away, the CO2 is no longer a threat to our environment. From capture to storage, every step in this process is designed to help mitigate the effects of climate change, ensuring a greener and healthier future for us all. The process of CO2 geological storage is not just about mitigating climate change, it's about unlocking new possibilities. As we delve deeper into the possibilities of geological storage, we uncover a world of potential benefits. One such advantage is enhanced oil recovery. By injecting captured CO2 into depleted oil fields, we can increase the amount of crude oil that can be extracted. This process not only provides a sustainable way to store CO2, but also breathes new life into aging oil fields, creating a win-win situation for both the environment and the energy industry. Moreover, the development of CO2 storage sites can lead to the creation of new jobs. From the engineers who design and operate the capture facilities to the geologists who identify suitable storage sites and the technicians who monitor and maintain the storage integrity, the entire process fuels employment opportunities. This illustrates how environmental innovation can go hand in hand with economic growth. But perhaps the most compelling potential of CO2 geological storage lies in its capacity to help us achieve a carbon neutral future. With every ton of CO2 we capture and store, we are one step closer to balancing the scale between the carbon we emit and the carbon we remove from our atmosphere. Imagine a world where our industries continue to thrive but without contributing to the rising carbon levels in our atmosphere. A world where we harness the power of our planet's geology to safely store the CO2 that we've captured. 
This is the vision that CO2 geological storage brings to the table. But it's important to remember that while CO2 geological storage holds immense potential, it's not a standalone solution. It's a crucial piece of a larger puzzle, a part of a multi-pronged approach needed to combat climate change effectively. As we look towards a greener tomorrow, CO2 geological storage stands as a beacon of hope, turning an invisible threat into a hidden asset.